Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Splatoon. In the last episode, we went through, basically cleared out the first area of the Octo Valley here. Uh, we took on the first boss, which was the giant Octo Stamp, the mighty Octo Stamp. And in today's episode, we unlocked the second area in this game. So we're going to go on and travel to the next area and get some more Zapfish. We gotta save six more zapfish in this area. And this is kind of where, in this game, after the first area, you can kind of do all the levels in any order that you like. Uh, I'm going to try my best to do them in order, <laughs> if I can, if I can help it. Uh, I think the first, uh, number four, level, level four, is all the way over here on this ramp up here. So we're gonna kind of climb up here to shoot up here and climb up this way. And we have to come up, I do believe, on this ramp here. Let's go ahead and jump and get up here. And I do believe this is level four. No, that's level eight. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Uh, yeah, I can't remember where all the numbered levels are. So we're going to take a gander and try to probably unlock all of them and see where they're at. But uh, I think level four is over here yonder. It's somewhere around here. I, I like to go in order if I can help it because... You know, it'd be nice to do that. Uh, level 4, there we go. Gusher Gauntlet, Take to the Skies. So, like I said before, you can do any of these levels. There's six levels in this area alone that you can do in any order that you want. But, like I said, I kind of want to go in order. So, we're going to go ahead and go into level 4 since we that's the number we're on right now. <laughs> and as soon as you come in here... Uh, we're going to be taking the Gusher Gauntlet to take the Gushers to the sky. Guys, let's shoot the Gusher to make a burst skyward. So satisfying. <laughs> yeah, if you see these things here, uh, these are Gushers. These are just geysers that you can ride up. And you can kind of just turn in the squib and jump off on this geyser. Gus, gusher. I mean, don't call them gu geysers, even though that's not what their names are. They're Gushers. Like, you know, fruit Gushers. You know that candy that you had when a kid? I love Fruit Gushers. Fruit Gushers are great. But we're going to go ahead and take care of that Octarian here. And go on this Gusher here. And take... it. Uh, I got the high ground up here. And just take him out. out. Because <laughs> it's over Octarian. I have the high ground. <laughs> That's pretty much that. So we're going to go ahead and take this Gusher up here to get onto this launch pad. And... Super jump all the way up here. I'm gonna go up here. And we got an introduction to a new enemy. Well, it's not so new. This is Octo Stamp. Octo Stamps kind of work like that boss we just fought. Uh, you have to wait until he comes over and starts, you know, comes down here, and then you shoot his backside. His backside is the weakness. So you kind of want to wait until after he's attacked in order to, you know, to attack his be behind. Give him good old spanking, if you know what I mean. So let's uh, go here and just, you know, oh, gosh. <laughs> Losing control to jump up here. We can just shoot this gusher and that'll kill the the, the octo flyer, the propeller rockling pretty pretty easily. And we got oh, a whole bunch of dudes up here. And they just killed me. That's okay. I kind of just walked right into that. But uh, as you can see, like I mentioned, I think in the last episode, uh, I have got three lives each checkpoint. And every checkpoint that you get a new checkpoint, it refills one of your lives out of it. So, it's really good, good mechanic, and I really like it because it makes it so that <laughs> you get some of your lives back after you, if you screw up. So, if you're not that great at the game, the game's not actively punishing you for it. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now we've got those propeller guys done. I'm going to go ahead and jump up here. And throw a bomb. Distract them. Kill both those. Kill both those Octarians and jump and kind of miss my jump here and jump and we and come in and squid form up there there we go now we got to shoot the zinc rail i'm mean, gonna zip down the zinc rail get to the next checkpoint as you can see it refilled my life there so that's one thing i really like the checkpoint system in this game i know in uh future splatoon games they kind of get rid of that mechanic but i kind of wish that they still had it because it wasn't it, it it didn't you know punish you too bad launch pad ahoy all right, so let's go ahead and go onto this launch pad. And we get to the final checkpoint. This final checkpoint will lead us to branching pathways here that we can take. So he goes, I can smell a zapfish. Check with your gamepad. 
Oh, that's actually one thing I forgot to mention, the gamepad. Yeah, on the gamepad here, it can show you where where you are on the map. I, I forgot to fail to mention that, but yeah, you have a little mini-map, and it shows you all the ink that you covered on the said gamepad. But we want to come over here to the left side of this branching pathways. As soon as you climb up here, this gusher here, and kill the Soctarian, inside this box is our next sunken scroll. So there we go, got our next sun sunken scroll for this level. And I do believe if you go to the right side, it'll give you a, um, I think it's, it'll just take you to the Zapfish. So I think if you come down this way, you can actually go down this way, because I didn't even show this off. You do one straight ahead to kind of position you right here. But if you go down this way, I know I'm kind of delaying the end of the level here, but I wanted to show this off here. There are some extra eggs here that you can get. So I, <laughs> if you want to go get some extra eggs, that's how you can get some. Uh, let's go ahead and go and finish the level like properly. So we gotta go to the right side, and that'll end the level of the gushers. The fruit gushers. And kill the shield and get the zapfish. Gusher goblet, take to the skies. Onward. <laughs> I always love the little jingles in this game. But with that, we cleared out level four. The sunken sea scroll says. This scroll was found deep in a deep rock layer. Its age estimated approximately 2,000 years. It details the ancient turf wars of the time. It seems the basic four, ver four versus four battle format has already been established in this stage. All right, so it'd be even like basic like ancient times, the squid kind had taken to the turf wars. All right, I know I can I can I know I can upgrade, but I don't really need to right now. Uh, but yeah, we can just go on to the next level. Let's go ahead and find level 5. I do believe level 5 is over here, if I remember correctly. It's like right up here. No, that's level 6. Ha <laughs> ha! I was doing it wrong. Well, like I said, I'm going to be doing that a lot, but I, I'm trying to find the levels in particular. Uh, I think I'm trying to remember where the other levels are. We will find it. This is where level four was, yeah. So level five's got to be around here somewhere. It's right, probably right here. Yeah, there it is. Level five, floating sponge garden. Soak it up. So let's go ahead and soak up the rays of our brilliance. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> but we're now blue. <laughs> we can spray blue ink, and we're on this level. This level is actually good for probably switching over your bombs to the burst bombs if you have them unlocked. The burst bombs, uh, I think I showed it the last time, but if you throw a burst bomb, it explodes on impact. So it's pretty, it's a pretty good bomb to have if you just want a quick explosion, so you don't have to sit there and wait. But it's probably a good thing here. It says that is a sponge. He doesn't live on a pineapple under the sea, though. <laughs> yeah, if you shoot the, if you shoot the sponge, it'll increase the size of the sponge. If enemies attack it, it will lower it and it'll kind of make them smaller. But what I was saying earlier about the burst bombs is you can actually increase the size of the sponge. If I can come over here and demonstrate. If you come over here and use the burst bombs on the sponge, it automatically increases it to max height. So it'd be nice to have the burst bombs because you could just use it to not 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 miss and whiff like I am and just kind of just take them out real easily but you also got to remember that burst bombs in general take a lot of ink out of your out of your uh, ammunition so you kind of want to be careful about spamming bombs all over the place because then you'll have low ink but we're gonna come over here get to the next checkpoint and just come over here and we're gonna have a bunch of balls here octa balls here and we're gonna give them blue balls to take him out because we're blue and, and, and yeah you get what I'm saying but <laughs> just gonna go ahead and take him out we're gonna keep coming on up this way and go collect some power eggs along the way I got forgot to mention that attackers cause sponges to shrink yeah so basically what cuttlefish is right if you want to keep going through here you kind of have to be careful because if a ball has come over to here they'll attempt might cause the Cause the sponges to get to shrink there, but uh, I let them demonstrate there because they were just gonna kill themselves and in, in the process <laughs> they were just gonna fall right off because they, they got nowhere to go. The octo balls, like I said before, they they only are vulnerable whenever they're stuck in your own ink. 
so you gotta be careful with that. And we got these bomb guys over here, the splat bomb torpedo things. And we gotta come over here. But for this sponge right here, we kind of want these Octarians to shoot the sponge and make it shrink because there's a grate under here. And when you go into squid form, and you'll notice there's a sunken sea scroll underneath. So there's our sunken sea scroll for this level. Yeah, you kind of have to wait for the Octarians to shoot the sponge in order to uh, make it smaller, just so to say. Let's go ahead and eat the rest here so we can super jump over here and get on to the next lunch pad. Lunch pad Maduk. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna go ahead and burst bomb these sponges right here because it might be a little bit easier just to throw a burst bomb here because we kind of have to hide but also be very quick about taking care of these pro uh, propeller guys because they could be a hindrance on making my sponge, my platform very, very small and we don't want that. Go ahead and throw a burst bomb. I'm over here. First bomb. There we go. Go ahead and shoot that so I can be max size. There we go. And got more Octarians here just trying to ruin my day. He's really trying to ruin my day here. <laughs> I always get nervous when I'm over a pit, pit, pit full like that. So go ahead and take care of him. We're going to jump over there and take care of that. And we got the trees. I forgot to mention you could actually paint the trees with ink. <laughs> Always thought that was a funny touch. You could just paint the eat, paint the trees. But we got to the final checkpoint, and then we have access to a Zuka, a Ink Zuka, or a rocket, whatever you want to call it. You can come over here and just shoot these things, and then kind of just make a clear path, kill the Octarians out of the way. And now we have access to the Zapfish, so we can go over here to get to the Zapfish. All right, so let's go ahead and. Over here and just come over there and there we go. Go ahead and break it open and there we go. Floating sponge garden, soak it up. <laughs> Got our next zapfish. And with that, we got our next sunken sea scroll to talk about too. It says the terrifying biology of the inkling. Strength can link it can leap up to five feet. Brain, simple and predatory. Bones? None. Eyes can sh spot prey from 100 yards away. Defense? High pressure, high capacity ink sack. <laughs> the biology of the inkling. It, it has no bones because, you know, it's an invertebra. It's kind of weird when you really think about it. We're just sitting here walking around. You know, ink inklings don't have the biology of the inklings. They don't, they don't have bones at all. But here's Cuttlefish. Hey, Cuttlefish. How you doing? Tap revealed kettles with the gamepad. Super jump straight to them. Yeah, that's another thing. You can tap on the world map here to go to level to level. Upgrade gear with the power eggs, blah, blah, blah. All the youngins in town don't believe me. Oh, the Octarian threat. Well, who's crazy now? Yeah, I think we've already seen this. You know what, uh, Cuttlefish? Uh, are you are you part of the blue man group? Because you're blue. abba dee abba -da. <laughs> yeah, you can shoot cuttlefish with your ink, and he just, it's like, well, why are you inking me, man? <laughs> but I do believe level six is over here. Yeah, right here, we just unlocked it earlier. This is Propeller Lift Playground, Whispers in the Wind. Let's go ahead and go do this one real quick. All right, so the this level says, now or never, Agent 3. Well, uh, it's always been now or never, man. Nice one, Bucko. <laughs> you can destroy all these these uh, rocket propelled enemies. Let's go ahead and get rid of them and just kind of have a trap of the ink and everything and just make my life a little bit easier just to slow those guys down, take care of them. We got a bunch of explodey guys. Come over here, just take care of them. This level introduces propellers. Propeller fans can, are just platforms. If you shoot the propeller, it'll lift the, make the fans spin and it'll make them go up as far far as you can go so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump on down here and we gotta kind of just do that and kind of just you know get over here get on the platform kind of give them give yourself the high ground yet again and kind of take care of these Octarians and kind of put myself in I kind of fell down a little bit too early on that Let's go ahead and take care of these Octarians there we go sink me you did it you did it squid <laughs> 
But we got a next checkpoint here. So we're gonna keep on mosey on up here and get these power eggs along the way here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my swipe bomb so I can just distract these guys here and get rid of get rid of them easily. Because <laughs> bombs are good good distractions, that's for sure. But here, we want to go ahead and get off the platform and shoot the propeller and go underneath it. Because underneath it, as you can guess, like the last lo last level, there's a sunken sea scroll underneath this platform. So there we go. We got our next sunken sea scroll. We're just gonna keep on moseying on up here. Get to these power eggs real quick. Jump up here. Wee! Get to the next launch pad and super jump away. We got the next checkpoint. Now this one's a little bit tricky because you're over water. Because don't fall, I just, we know we see creatures can't swim. <laughs> oh gosh, that's just that's just terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and burst these balloons here and get some more power eggs and get rid of this Octarian guy here. But yeah, you don't want to fall in the water because for some reason, uh, Inklings don't like water. They, they can't swim. Yeah, so if you fall in the water, you automatically die. I don't understand how this works, but you know, <laughs> they've evo they're evolved sea creatures that can't live in the sea. So uh, <laughs> make it make of it what you will with that. <laughs> We'll go ahead and take care of these Octarians here and kind of come over here and shoot them from behind there. Launch pad ahoy, yeah! Could you show the way over here? Alright, and we're gonna shoot this propeller, make this platform go down. So we can kind of raise up on here. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this so I can hide in it. And kind of go ahead and use this ink to climb up the wall. And then we got another, another uh, propeller up here. Kind of go ahead and just take care of this stupid ink Octarian. Come on here and climb up the wall and shoot his face with ink. Just splat him with ink. I'm gonna go ahead and jump up this way. Again, we're gonna shoot this propeller. And kind of just get to get them trapped on their own ink here. And let me refill my ink here. Get down here. Get down with me, bad so. There we go. Almost got it. I'm just going to go ahead and climb up and finish them off. There we go. <laughs> that was easy. Now we're going to go on and ride this platform. And that'll lead us straight to the Zapfish. There we go. So let's go ahead and grab our Zapfish, and that'll be the end of the level, level six. But with that, we've gotten three of our Zapfish in this level. I do believe we needed to get six in this level. So. We're about halfway down with the level already. So our next Sunken Sea Scroll says, The Department of Energy has announced that further declines in availability of electric, electric power are likely to occur to the, in the near future, with underground drones domes also deteriorating rapidly. The future doesn't look so bright. Well, yeah, because it doesn't have electricity. <laughs> but, um... <tsh. laughs> of course it doesn't look bright. You're sitting in darkness. <laughs> So, with that, we got our next Sunken Sea Scroll. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our gear if we can. Uh, we can upgrade... Let's do our upgrade. Well, we need 500 for that. What do we need? 300 for that. I'm like literally one egg away from 300. But, yeah. I think I'm going to save it until I get to the hero shot. I can increase the power of the hero shot. So, I think I might save it. But, we got three levels done in this episode. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Splatoon... We're going to hopefully finish up Area 2. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode.